Hey you guys, Linwood here and today I'm going to show you how to tie the lanyard knot. So stay tuned and thumbs up if you like it. If you haven't seen my last video, you can do so by clicking the I in the top right corner. Uh, by the way, the image has been flipped for your viewing pleasure. So when I say right, it's also your right. When I say left, it's also your left. So pop that collar, toss that tie on, and let's get started. So I'm going to start off by placing the blade of my tie, which is the large end, at about the tip of my belt line, uh, so just above my pants. I'm going to go ahead and take the outer corners of this section and roll them in. The thing I like about it is that as I roll them in, you'll notice it creates like a little crease right there in the middle. This one is a totally different crease from my typical, but I like the way that it looks. So I'm going to go ahead and then take the tail end and cross it over the top while making sure to keep this portion pinched. So I'm just going to keep it pinched until I have a firm wrapping all the way around. Now from here, I'm going to go ahead and fold my tail end in half, being sure to keep the smooth side facing downward. I'm just going to go ahead and cross it over the front like so, and then place my finger facing me. From there, I'm just going to go ahead and wrap around my finger like this. Okay, then face it directly at yourself, point it straight to you. Keep it folded and bring it around the back, which by the way, if any of this seems a little fast, keep in mind, you can pause it um, and you can rewind and all that. That's the glory of being able to do it by video, but I understand some people like to follow along as is. From here, you're gonna take the tail end, keeping it folded, and just place it directly through that loop we just created. Pull it all the way through. By the way, you guys, last year, I was super excited. I got the opportunity to write the foreword for a book. It's called Why You Suck at Tying Ties. Um, and it was actually one of my subscribers ended up writing the book and asked me if I could do the foreword for it. And so I was like, sure, I'll go ahead and do that. And I went ahead and wrote it. It's meant to be comical. Um, but it does have a few links to different videos and things by myself, by Alex Krasny, and by Patrick Novotny in there as well. So if you're interested in that, check it out. I'll put a link in the description box below for it. All right, so now that we've gone through that loop, I'm just going to go ahead and wrap around this finger yet again, facing it towards myself one more time. We're going to do the same motion. wrapping it around the back and coming directly through. So we're literally just repeating what we did the first time. Come on through that loop one more time, making sure it stays folded all the way through. Now keep in mind, I've had a ton of practice with this knot, so it does tend to look a bit easier when I do it. So from here, I'm gonna go ahead and take this extra bit of the tail here, pull it straight up and through the middle. And I'm just going to go through my bottom loop here, not through this one, but through this one here, which from this angle looks like it's the middle. It's actually the bottom. You're going to go ahead and pull it right on through that loop, straight down, nice and snug. Not too, too tight, but snug. You want it to be firm. And then from there, we're just gonna go ahead and pull this collar down like so. And there you have it, the lanyard knot. So for those who have ever done like the lanyard style key fobs, that's where I got this idea from uh, for the name of this knot. So let me know what you think as always in the description box below. And until next time you guys, take care and God bless. And as always, you are fancy now. Bye-bye.